Let's start things off with a story from Dulles, where a passenger went into labor on a United Airlines flight from Ghana to Dulles, and a doctor on the flight teamed up with one of the flight attendants, who was a trained nurse, to deliver the baby. This is incredible. This baby boy entered the world at 30,000 feet. His first day on Earth, and he already needs somebody to pick him up from Dulles. Man, it is, it is a cold world. But it is good to have a positive story come out of Dulles Airport. I'm usually talking to, to y'all about flight delays or drug smugglers when I bring them up. I guess this little guy technically was a stowaway since he didn't have a ticket, but that's not his fault. Salute to the doctor and flight attendant who delivered the baby. Also, shout out to the mother who became a mother on the way back from the motherland. Now that is meta. I choose this next story out of DC because it's eye opening. A new report from the District Department of Transportation and the Department of Motor Vehicles shows that residents of Maryland and Virginia owe 75% of the unpaid camera tickets taken in DC from October 2020 to March 2021. Hey, Maryland and Virginia out here riding dirty. They see me rolling, they hate, and I am hating. I am hating because I live here and I got to deal with it. Drivers in Maryland and Virginia aren't penalized for outstanding unpaid fines in the district, which explains why they aren't paying them. If DC folks try that, they will get the boot. And no, I don't mean that figuratively. I mean an actual boot on their tires. Nobody wants to start their day discovering their car is now a giant paperweight. Some of y'all in Maryland and Virginia are getting DC tickets and making a run for the border like the Dukes of Hazard. What? Too old? That reference was too old? Okay, okay. Some of y'all out here in Maryland and Virginia are making a run for the border like Taco Bell. No, still? Really? Really? Okay. Some of y'all out here in Maryland and Virginia are making a run like a caravan. You know what? I give up. I, let's, let's just move on. DC should also give up because they ain't getting that money from Maryland or Virginia drivers. We're visiting our friends in Stafford County for this next story where, according to the Sheriff's Department, a woman was arrested for allegedly slamming a bathroom door and breaking the automatic closer at a McDonald's. Why? Because the ice cream machine was out of order. Ain't nothing soft serve about that. She's strong. She needs to chill. Now, technically, she was trying to chill since she was buying ice cream in the cold, but it's never that serious. This right here, that is we're all out of French fries energy. That is the only menu item where I can understand getting that mad. Any McDonald's out of French fries? Go ahead and close for the day. Close for the week. But ice cream? She was going to break something regardless. All she needed was a reason. That is Mick terrorism. Now, she has a court date and will probably have to pay for going Hulk smash on the bathroom door. But up, 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 seek therapy. Now, for our next story, we're going to stay in Stafford County. That's right, a double dose of Virginia's Florida. It's your lucky day. Two inmates at Stafford County Regional Jail engaged in what was described as mutual combat when one of the inmates unsuccessfully tried to hit the other with a tube sock filled with three bars of soap and is now facing a charge of felony by prisoner. What kind of full metal jacket mess is this? Main man tried to homie the clown his opponent and still failed. How do you fashion a pair of hosiery nunchucks and still don't connect with them. That is a waste of soap and a waste of socks. Inmates clearly got too much creativity and free time. Now this dude got extra charges, a cold foot, and no soap. He lost on every level except for the, except for the no soap part. That actually, that actually might, might help him out. Looks like treachery is afoot. He has stepped to the wrong one. Now he got to walk it off. Feel free to add any of your foot puns. By the way, I love the term mutual combat. How good is that? How good? Hey, hey, why are you up so late? What you doing on your phone? It's mutual combat. I'm looking at mutual combat videos. Uh, by the way, uh, it is always mutual until you miss with your soap chucks. Then it's guards, guards, police. My favorite story has got to be the gold toe cell block ninja because he is an honorary member of the Foot Clan. Shout out to my Ninja Turtle fans out there. All right.